So in this video today, I'm basically gonna be showing you how to migrate your current operating system to a new SSD or hard drive. So there are a couple of uh, precautions that I would recommend you guys take, and that's what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. So that means you're gonna have to get a couple of equipment. And obviously this is definitely a given. The first equipment you're gonna need is the SSD or hard drive that you'll be migrating to. And the second equipment that I definitely recommend you get is a blank DVD. Now the third equipment you're gonna need is another storage system. Now this here, this is an external hard drive. It's uh, 500 gigs and my current operating system is on a 60 gig SSD. So this is more than enough to back up the current operating system. Now the last equipment that I would definitely recommend you get is a USB to SATA adapter. So yeah, like I said, that's pretty much everything. We might as well get on with the migration. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is build up your system. And then for the first few steps, we're gonna actually go through the safety precautions. If you're not gonna be creating a system image or backing up your current operating system, then you can just fast forward to the time frame where the migration process actually begins. I'll attach the time frame right here. So you can go to this time frame to start the migration process. However, if you are gonna follow the precaution process then this is what you're going to need to do now the first thing you're going to actually need to do is insert the blank dvd and also you need to connect the external hair drive or whatever storage system you'll be using to back up the current operating system then what you want to do is go to your control panel then go to system security and backup and restore. I'm using Windows 10 by the way, if anyone's wondering. Then you need to go to create a system repair disk, which will be on the left hand side. Then you need to create a disk. Now, because my DVD already had something on it, I'm gonna end up with this message here. If you have a blank disk, you won't get this message. However, because I do have something on it, I'm getting this message. So how do we fix that? The first thing we need to do is go to a website called burnaware.com and then you need to go to downloads and then just download the free version of Burn Aware. So once you've downloaded Burn Aware, you just need to right click on the exe file, hit run as administrator, select your language, okay, next, agree to terms and conditions and you can save it to wherever default. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep hitting next for all of these and install. So I'll just open up Burn Aware, go to Erase Disk. Now make sure you select your, it'll say Gathering Information, but make sure you select your CD DVD that you're going to be erasing. By default, it generally just goes to your CD or DVD writer. Then you wanna hit Format Rewritable Disk and then click erase disk. I'm not gonna do this process because my DVD currently has my system image on it at the moment. And um, once that's done, which will take a while, this process takes a really long time because it actually does a complete erase of the disk. However, once that's done, you should end up with something like this. So as you can see, it has your boot folder source and boot MGR and all that stuff. This is basically all the stuff that runs Windows. And then once that's done, you can just go back to your control panel and create a system repair disk. This time it should work. Okay, so the last safety precaution we're gonna take is backing up the operating system to the external hard drive. As you can see though, on my PC, I do have a backup drive already set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my laptop um, by accessing it remotely and I am just basically going to demonstrate how it's like for someone who is backing up for the first time. So you want to just go to your backup and restore system. If it's your first time this is what it'll look like. So you want to say setup backup and what it's doing is it's going to scan your system for any possible drives that can be used as a backup. The 500 gig external hard drive will definitely show up in this. As you can see, it instantly recommends the external hard drive as the recommended backup. So just hit next. 
Now you can let Windows choose or you can choose yourself. In this case I recommend you choose it yourself. So go to next. Now this is all up to you. It's not really something I can say but in my case I'm just gonna go Windows 10 and the recovery. Um, if you're someone who uses their libraries a lot, then you can back them up as well. But in my case, I do not use these. But um, just this is, I guess, up to you for, uh, for you to choose. So I'm just going to go next. And it'll say something about a system image. So as you can see, we said included. And here we've already done this part. Generally, it always asks you. Now you can create a backup schedule or you can just... Uh, basically leave it as a one-time backup so for this case I'm just gonna leave it as a one-time backup so I'm gonna click save settings and run backup now your system should start backing it up again this will take a little while so go have a cup of tea or coffee or something like that now assuming your backup has completed we're just gonna use my actual backup drive to show you what it looks like when it's done so you should get like a disk image like this which will just say the name of the PC so when you go into that when you well when you double click on it it'll give you these options now if you hit restore my files browse folder or file as you can see it says backup of C now this is basically good in case something does happen to your new drive then you'll be able to restore your C drive to the way it was before. So that's pretty much it for all the safety precaution. Now we're just gonna move on to the migration process. Now for the main part of this tutorial, which is the migration process. To do this part, you're gonna need to download a free software called Aomi Partition. It's probably one of the best softwares you can get for your computer. What you wanna do is go to downloads and you should end up here. Once it's downloaded, right click on the exe file again, hit run as administrator, select your language. This is all something you should be used to from the uh, the Burnaware installation. All right, so before we open up Aomi Partition, what we're gonna do is connect a new drive to the PC. Now in this tutorial, I'm connecting my new drive via the USB to SATA adapter, which I showed earlier on in the video. Now don't be alarmed when you do connect a new drive, it's not gonna show up in your devices and drives. The reason why is because it's a new drive, none of the spaces have been allocated yet. So what you wanna do is then open up the Yomi partition. Now what you're gonna see is a lot of drives, including all your system storage and all that stuff, uh, system reserve drives. But you need to look down below and you can see that you have a drive that has unallocated space. Now this should most certainly be the new drive. What you want to do next is go over to the wizard column, click on migrate OS to SSD. Now as you can see it says migrate the current operating system to solid state or traditional hard drive. So this is why this software is really good. It works for both SSDs and HDDs as well. Hit next. Now then what you need to do is look for your new drive. Please make sure you select the new drive. You don't want to select a different drive and then repartition it because then you'll run into problems. As you can see here on this S drive, we also have an allocated space. However, what the drive we're looking for is the 111 gig. Because it's 111, I know it's the Toshiba drive. Hit next. Now you want to select the full drive. Basically, if you leave it halfway, your new drive will be that space, and then you'll have unallocated space. But we want to use the whole space of the new drive. That's why we drag it the whole way. Then for drive letter, you want to select none. Now you can't select C because you're currently using the drive letter C to do all of this. So we want to select none because then when it reboots, it's going to reboot with the drive letter C. So hit next. Now this notice just tells you that after the migration is done, it should restart with the new drive. However, if it doesn't, then you want to disconnect the old drive and then just reconnect the new drive to the cables that the old drive was connected to. That's pretty much all this notice is saying. Then hit finish. 
when you hit finish go to the top left hit apply now this just gives you a description of the performance that you're about to do we're migrating OS to SSD hit proceed now what this is going to do is it's going to restart in a pre OS mode basically at this stage you do not want to touch anything at all you want to just let the PC restart completely so when we hit yes what's going to happen now the PC is going to restart okay so now the PC is restarting in a pre OS mode once all the operations have completed just let the PC restart by itself I know it tells you you can hit it manually but just let it restart by itself and if it doesn't restart into the new drive you'll get a message telling you to choose your keyboard layout click see more keyboard layouts to choose your language then just turn off the PC now once the PC turns off what I would actually recommend you do is swap out the drives I know it does say that it will restart by itself but it's always better to just swap out the drives and put in the new drive instead and the new migration is now being connected to the two cables then just hit the power button and this time your PC should just restart into the new drive as you can see here Windows is now booting up on the new partition and that is pretty much everything the migration is complete if we go over to computer as you can see the local disk is now the new SSD also don't forget to change your boot drive to the new SSD or hard drive that you've just migrated to as you can see now I'm in my boot menu in my BIOS and I'm selecting the new SSD which is the Toshiba Q300 as the number one priority boot drive because then when your PC now restarts it'll always restart in the new hard drive or SSD so yeah that's pretty much everything for this tutorial if you have any questions at all and if this didn't work out exactly as it should have for you then just drop me a comment in the comment section below or you can contact me through my contact form on my website don't forget to leave a like and subscribe I really did put a lot of effort into this video and I do hope that it helps every one of you that's looking to migrate your OS to a new drive. Thanks for watching folks and I'll see you in the next one.